I wanted to call out Australia specifically in this session uh, because, as, as you mentioned, Gary, they, they are making some really good progress. Um, we have uh, joined, uh, we're a member of their UDI technical working group and have been involved in their weekly calls uh, dating back for quite some time now. And um, they've been uh, really doing a great job of collaborating with industry and getting feedback of what works, doesn't work. Uh, from a UDI implementation. You may recall that it was a year or so ago they, they released a consultation paper and uh, was surveying industry on some perspective. So they clearly took that information and um, started down a path uh, of their implementation of their database. And on July 4th, they actually launched their Sandpit environment, which is the equivalent of you know, the Udemed playground or a pre-production good ID. Um, Upon launching the, the SAMPIT, they opened up registration, and we registered as a third-party submitter uh, to test the machine-to-machine -machine, uh, capabilities and provide feedback on those functions. Um, we are, I actually, we got an update uh, yesterday on that that we should expect within the next several days, within a week, uh, to be contacted with the technical specifications and onboarded uh, into the SAMPIT for machine to machine testing. So we you know, haven't gotten our hands on that yet, but uh, we do have information like is there draft data dictionaries and so forth, but everything we're hearing is very promising. Uh, we did see, and some others may have as well, if you joined in on some of the webinars that they conduct, uh, the TGA conducts, they were doing a uh, demonstration of the SAMPIT as well. So I mean, they, they clearly, um, have, have made some good progress and everything right now is very heavily based on the US uh, FDA good ID uh, implementations uh, approach I would say so not very uh, you're not going to see things that are more similar you're going to see things more similar to US rather than Udemed um, but they are going to be opening up uh, I believe another consultation in Q3 Q4 of this year as the sand pit's been available, like they're asking for folks to register, get your hands on their sand pit, um, give some feedback, they're gonna do a consultation and address whatever feedback is uh, deemed critical uh, to get into their initial go live, um, which we do expect to happen uh, in the very near future. So they've been communicating January, 2023 is when they would, uh, open up a, a production allowing for voluntary submissions. So this is really, you know, uh, I guess uh, for those that, that are tracking this, you'd probably agree this is, this is moving along quite nicely. Um, if it's, it's something you've uh, not been tracking, but you are selling products into the Australia uh, region, I would, it's something to start taking a look at as, as uh, this is a little bit, it looks a little bit more than smoke and mirrors like you may see with some other, uh, uh, implementations and so forth. So we we are we'll be doing this testing and we're planning internally uh, to begin development to start extending out single source with the uh, submission machine to machine channel uh, for this database. Uh, we're just gonna be getting through the testing period first and see how everything works before we kind of commit our uh, business role and, and submission build requirements. So I had a comment and a question there, John. Um, the comment was this is a little bit of a about face for TGA. Remember, they initially came out and they were pretty much aligned with the European Union. Uh, and as it now becomes implemented, they're really using the U.S. as their baseline model. Um, I even saw that you know they're now using the uh, the Health Level Seven SPL as the file format to collect data. So they have kind of switched a little bit, used the U.S. as the baseline uh, model, and then uh, peppered in various things from the European Union. I don't think they rejected them all, but you know, there's still some questions about you know, whether they'll collect basic UDI or, or uh, they're definitely going to use GMDN for the nomenclature, but they might also right. accept EMDN. There's a couple little things that might be... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it looks like the, the things that are more Uni, maybe Unimed-like, like EMDN and so forth, those appear to be the things that they are looking at as future considerations, whereas more of the U.S. model is what they have right now. 
And right. what I think is fantastic is that might have been their original approach, um, but they they solicited feedback from industry either through surveying um, what's the preference of manufacturers, and they've you know adjusted w with what was provided with that feedback, which is fantastic. It's awesome to see, especially from a health authority. Right. So the um, the one last question on this topic. If I'm in the audience and I sell to Australia and I want to participate in the pilot and kind of get ready for this voluntary production, uh, what do I do? Okay, so there's there's a few things. We're going to know more details about how the machine to machine process works probably in a few weeks because we we're going to get the specifications. Uh, we know it's HL7 SPL, so we know like Yes, the way that the submissions have to be formatted, but the process of submitting on behalf of um, that type of onboarding, especially within the sand pit, uh, is still a little bit TBD. But when we have that information, we'll share it. So if that allows for that at this in this version of the sand pit, we could look at how we could get some um, collaboration in with the the testing that we're performing. 